If you have diverticulosis, will eating seeds and nuts increase your risk of getting the infection called diverticulitis? As a GI doctor, I'm asked this single question at least a couple times a day, and that's partly because patients often get conflicting information from different doctors, especially if those docs trained at different times. Whenever I'm faced with a controversial question like this, I like to turn to Consensus, an AI-powered medical search engine to help me formulate my answer. Thanks to Consensus for sponsoring this video. I use Consensus for all sorts of medical questions, and I love it because it gives me a quickly summarized answer featuring the specific journal articles that formulated the summary with links to those articles in full if I want to read more. Consensus just launched Medical Mode. Medical Mode focuses on the top medical journals and clinical guidelines, essentially the highest quality 25% of PubMed. So let's use this to answer our question. And the Consensus Meter quickly tells us the available high quality research and guidelines say no, seeds and nuts won't cause diverticulitis. But of course, we want to know more than that to be sure of our answer. So we scroll down to see the types of studies supporting our answer, along with the conclusion summary and links to the studies themselves. In this case, it's clear that it used to be recommended for those with diverticulosis to avoid seeds and nuts, but this was based on anecdotal evidence and newer high quality studies do not show this risk. Hence, no guidelines are recommending to avoid seeds or nuts. I find this helpful for patients too because I can quickly pull up not only an answer to their question, but show summaries of research articles. And consensus saves these threads for me so I can periodically revisit them or ask follow-up questions, especially for newer topics that are actively being studied. Whether you're a clinician or a patient, consensus helps cut through conflicting advice with evidence-based answers. Try it free via the link in my bio.